Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome to this day and welcome to this video. So thanks for clicking on the video. My name is Owen Fox. I work as a spiritual life coach and have my own herb shop. I do, um, I just like to help people in life and have the best life ever. So that's why I'm making this video because I want to help you have the best life ever. I want to, in this video, share with you something I was reading on Facebook about. Basically speaking, in the spiritual community, we always tend to focus on the inner. And I have to say, I, I have to say it's about the outer as well in the physical, third dimensional life. Or like in this world, it's absolutely 100% about the outer as well. Because like I know myself did it and I know a lot of other people do it. And that's okay, but what we do, 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 is we neglect the outer. We just focus to the extreme on the inner. So we talk all about love and compassion and inner peace and especially one of the biggest things people get confused about is acceptance. Acceptance, I want to tell you guys, is it's a feeling of love and compassion. It's, it's an embracing quality. It's an energy of embracement and love and compassion. It's not an action. Like, <laughs> you don't accept abusive behavior in any way. That's not acceptance. It's not love for you or for anybody. So, what a lot of the so-called spiritual, spiritual people do is we focus excessively on the inner. It's an imbalance. So, like, let's say you want to go make it simple. There's two types of people in the world, okay? There's the spiritual and then there's the, f the physical. So, the upper chakras and the lower chakras. And all chakras are equal, by the way. They all work together. Like a bicycle. Like, no, no part is better than the other. So, there's no judgment or, like, betterment or lesser than or greater than or anything like that. So, there's people who become very spiritual. They neglect the world, their physical bodies. Often, they're still eating junk food. <laughs> addicted to loads of stuff. And that's okay. Me too. I'm still addicted and I'm trying to work out of that. But then the physical world people, they're also very addicted, of course, obviously. They're often more, more, they're more unconscious, which is no judgment either. They're just like, you know, they're growing up in their own way. And so are the spiritual people. Like, I wouldn't even say the spiritual people are more grown up, necessarily, um, from a spiritual perspective. It depends. It really depends on the individual. So some physical people, some people who are not into spirituality at all, like the mainstream spirituality in the slightest, slightest bit, they're doing brilliant in the world. Like, they're manifesting their dreams, they're, they're chasing their hope, they're their hobbies, their careers, they're creating lots of stuff, abundance, money, wealth, business, uh, home, security, things, physical objects. But of course we all know that they can be like depressed and suicidal and they kill themselves and we all know this totally, totally well. But um, adversely, the spiritual people neglecting money, they're not grounded, they're not rooted, they're, they don't have security, home, finances, they, they, they can't pay the rent. <laughs> Uh, they don't have money to travel to see their friend, or <laughs> that type of thing, okay? So I want to say the best way is to do both at the same time, guys. Do both at the same time, obviously. So it's all about balance, guys. It, it boils down to balance and wisdom. You have to understand it's about both. But I, 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 I would say more important is inner reflection, inner honesty, and inner work. If you like that name, inner work. So yeah, inner honesty, inner reflection and change yourself, heal yourself, get rid of the false, the, the faulty thinking, the false beliefs, the limiting beliefs. Question yourself, question your life, reflect on your life, look at your relationships, look at your work, look at your health, look at your, di your diet, look at your habits, look at your routine, look at, see if you, ask yourself if you're happy with your life, ask yourself if you're going where you want to go in life, are you following your dreams, are you living your passions, are you serving the community, Ask yourself, do you have compassion in your heart? Look at your emotions. Investigate, guys. It's all about self-questioning and self-investigation. So this is the inner work part, okay? This is fun. I love this, by the way. I've been doing this like hardcore for like around eight, eight years or more. Eight or nine years. Like hardcore stuff. So I've grown a lot spiritually, but now is my time in the world where I'm really deeply also focusing and balancing up on this topic of this video. So, like, I see other people also who focus, they go on, like, your inner retreat, like, they go off to, they don't do much in the outer world, and they start focusing on the inner world, and that's good, because they're rebalancing, because for most of their life, they were doing the physical world. So then they do the spiritual world, to, like, to a big, big amount. It helps rebalance. But then there comes a point where you want to integrate both together, guys. That's where, like, the, the real mastery comes in. It's the integration of both the physical and the spiritual, the upper chakras and the lower chakras. 
And that's the truth, in my opinion. That's the real truth and the real honest truth. Basic simplicity and the mastery. And that's where it's most fun. That's where you, you're more healed. You more, take responsibility for your life. You're having loads of more fun. You're having more fun and games and joy and happiness and fulfillment. You're doing everything like deep, hard, heart core. Core, at the core of your heart, your true heartfelt desires. You're doing all that, but you're also looking after your health. You're doing everything physical. You're creating, you're creating abundance. You're creating wealth on, on the, not necessarily just purely a physical, a physical or a monetary level, but you're including that into your life instead of neglecting it. So it's not about becoming crazy about one chakra or one aspect, but it's about integrating in a balanced, harmonious, healthy fashion, guys, in a positive, positive manner. Look at that beautiful mountain clouds over there. Isn't that beautiful? So it's cold here in Ireland. I'm still wearing my shorts. Keep them warm a little bit. <laughs> actually, it's actually pretty cold. Actually, because I'm cycling so slowly making the video, it's <laughs> still a bit cold. So, it's, so in a way, you could say this is a little example of where I uh, unbalance myself to become too cold. So, in effect, I probably should have cycled faster. So, life is about constant juggling, constant management. That's what it's all about. So. I'm on the main road now, so I'll end the video, basically speaking. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and I don't know, guys. It's like I love this message so much, deep into my heart, and I hope it's helped you in your life. And I send you love and light and blessings. And I thank you for all the all the love, support, and blessings you sent to me. So, so everybody, do subscribe to this if you're new. Subscribe to my channel, please. Please give the video a share and a like. And. A favorite or add to your playlist if you if if you feel like it as well and share your social media or even share with any of your friends that you feel might be helped by this it's good to get the message out there and um, friend me on Facebook or even Twitter and look after yourself in all ways guys send me love and by the way just look below in the description box because I have a higher higher self herb shop 20% off first orders for subscribers but I also have a video on self-love below in the description box and how to raise your vibration. That's their helpful videos and they're lovely accompaniments to any video I make, generally speaking. So, see you again another time, guys, and uh, make sure you connect with me and friend me and uh, leave, leave me a message or whatever. Love to connect with you. And anyone interested in life coaching, like I said, check me out, ownfox.org. Thanks. Right. Bye.